What's up on Bugs Bros, back with another video and today we're going to be looking at the remote play on iOS devices. It was just recently launched, not too long ago, uh, within this week. Um, previously the Play Murray application was available for the iOS devices but unfortunately that stopped working after the PS4 4.5 update came out. Uh, so let's go into it and take a look at how you can set it up. Now, one thing to let you guys know, this application is 10 bucks. However, I mean, 10 bucks is not a lot of money, especially knowing that there's not a lot of remote play support for iOS devices. So with this application, it is worth it. For me, it is worth it because I, because I do use the remote play and you know, this is the only way I could do it. So 10 bucks really is nothing. It's like Mickey D's, man. So, I mean, 10 bucks, uh, it's not going to make a dent in your pocket. But, I mean, if the feature is important to you and you like to play uh, on, on a second screen or on your device, then this is great. All right, so let's go into the App Store and search for R Remote Play. All right, it's right here, as you can see. Now I've already purchased it, that's why it's not asking me to pay for it. So it's gonna go ahead and download. And I really like this application, honestly, because one of the cool things about this is the controllers are so much smoother. If you are willing to use the screen controllers, they're much smoother than they were on the Play Murray application. So it's installed, let's go into the application. It's right here. All right, I'm just going to flip this so you guys can see it better. All right, so it says before you get started, there are a few important things to note. So let's hit next on that. Ensure that the PS4 is connected to your Wi-Fi network via LAN cable. Having the PS4 connected via Wi-Fi will not be stable enough for remote play to operate smoothly. All right, so that's good that they actually note that. If your router supports 5 GHz Wi-Fi, then use this to connect your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. It will provide a much better connection and therefore a smoother gameplay compared to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Now guys, I do have a 5.0, uh, so I have a, a dual band router, which has 2.4 and 5 GHz uh, connection. So just keep in mind that when you have this, uh, remote play installed on your iOS devices make sure that the iOS device is connected to a 5 gigahertz connection all right so let's hit next if you need any assistance you get in touch with us by selecting technical support uh, setting screen we are committed to quickly resolving any issues that may encounter this is pretty cool they are willing to provide support like I said on the previous play Murray application uh, there wasn't much support so this is great to see it is possible to use DualShock 4 with play R play but this requires a special configuration please see using a DS4 controller section of the instructions manual for details all right before using R play for the first time this device must be paired with your PS4 we understand let's get into it all right, so a little bit of agreement information. All right, so let's go ahead and register the PS4. All right, so once my online ID. All right, so I'm just gonna turn on my PS4 and I'm gonna put my online ID, guys. All right, and once your registration number. So let's take a look on the uh, TV screen and get that registration number itself. All right guys, so this is my PS4 here. I'm gonna log into my account. And once I've logged in, we're gonna wanna go to settings. And once we're in settings, we want to go to remote play connection settings. All right, click on add device. And that's the number we're gonna enter on the RPlay application on the iOS device. All right, so the number is 
3928. All right, register. Would like to attempt to configure our play for playing over the internet. You may also do this later by selecting configure internet play from the settings screen. That's okay, we're gonna hit yes. There we are, we're connected. All right, so let's hit back and there you go. As you can, as you can see right here, I'm gonna attempt to start a game here. So let's go to UFC. Shout out to all the UFC fans out there. I don't know if you guys are going to be watching UFC 211 this weekend. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Who you guys think is going to win. So Conor McGregor is right there versus Jose Aldo. Hit X on that. Let's fight. So as you can see guys, it's a clear image. 1080p is what I'm running it at currently and no lag like I said you need to have this connected to a 5 gigahertz connection and make sure that your PS4 is also connected to your LAN cable or your Ethernet cable to per se all right shout out to the Conor McGregor fans out there even though I'm Aldo right now I respect both of these guys I wish they would do a rematch. Oh, yeah, I think he's going to knock me out here. All right, before I get knocked out, I'm going to pause the game here. All right, so guys, like I said, that's the RPlay application. Um, I'm so excited that it, they actually came out with something for the iOS device. Hopefully, this will stay a long longer than the Play Mirror application. Uh, but if you do want to use your DualShock controller, what I essentially do myself is basically I have two accounts on my PS4 and just to show you guys quickly here so right here guys so I use this I use this as my controller this account as my controller and I use this as a remote play account so I log in mm. as the remote play on here and I essentially log in as my controller using this account so when I do that, it allows me basically to play using my DualShock controller. And if I'm anywhere in my home, essentially I can turn on my PS4 and basically it'll do that for me. That's the reason why I don't connect my DualShock controller to the iOS device is because I can't turn on my PS4. So what I do is I log in with this account as the remote play and this account as the actual controller. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe. I know you guys have been patiently waiting for the remote play application on the Android devices. That is gonna be coming out. Just be patient with that. Like I said, Twisted is working on it. We don't know exactly when the timetable is when he will release that application. But like I said, to keep updated, subscribe to this channel. Until next time, guys, as always, stay unboxing. Stay unboxing, bros. Peace.